In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the more controversial GCSE questions of all time. Let's give it a read. We've got N sweets in a bag, six orange, the rest are yellow. Hannah takes a sweet from the bag, she eats it. She takes another sweet, eats that. The probability she eats two orange sweets is one third. And we want to show this quadratic is true in a moment. Let's start off then with drawing a tree diagram to represent this situation. So first branch of the tree, Hannah can either choose an orange sweet or a yellow sweet. So orange, yellow. Second branch, again, either orange or yellow, orange or yellow. Filling in our numbers then, if there's N sweets in total and six are orange, well then the amount of yellow sweets will be N subtract six, because in total, these two need to add up to our N. Let's fill in the first branch then. So the chance you pick an orange sweet, well, there's six orange out of N total. The chance that you pick a yellow sweet is N minus six out of N total. That part's okay. Second pick though, you have to remember that Hannah has eaten the first sweet. So our total number of sweets is no longer N, it's now out of n minus one. And we can put that for every possible outcome here, because in any case, Hannah is eating the first sweet. Thinking about our other numbers then, if she picked an orange sweet and ate it, well, of those six orange sweet, only five are left now. However, if she ate the orange sweet, she hasn't affected the number of yellow sweets in this case. So here we still have an n minus six. On the second branch of our tree, she ate a yellow sweet first, so she hasn't affected the number of orange. That means here we would still have a six, but for the yellows, well, we had n minus six, she ate one of them, we went down on the yellow, so now it's n minus seven here. So we filled in the rest of our tree. At this point, we're good to use this statement here. The probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one third. So let's think about that probability. Where is it coming from? Well, two orange sweets, that's orange here, and then orange again. And looking at those two probabilities, we've got six divided by N, and then five, divided by n minus one. And we should be really clear what we've stated here. This is the probability of, I'm gonna put O, O, orange, orange, six over n multiplied by five over n minus one as we go along our tree. Let's try and simplify this a little bit by putting into one fraction. So 30 over n brackets n minus one. We can do a bit more with this though. They've told us this probability of two orange sweets is one third. So why don't we equate this to one third and see what happens? We can say 30 over n, n minus one equals one third. And if we'd like to get rid of the fractions here, we can multiply everything by three, first of all. So times in both sides by three, we'll have 90 over n brackets n minus one. That would just give us one. And the last step would be multiplying our n n minus one on both sides. We'll end up with having 90 equals n brackets n minus one. Then we can subtract our 90 expanding the brackets. So I'll just do that here. So n brackets n minus one minus 90 equals zero. And expanding those, n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. The algebra there is not actually so bad. I think the thing that caused a stir with this question was the transition from tree diagram into quadratic. 
Finishing off the question on part b, we want to solve this quadratic to find the value of n. And something interesting is going to happen here. So let's try it. Switch back to red. We want to find here two numbers that multiply to make minus 90, but add to make minus 1. So having a think about those numbers, they need a difference of 1. It's got to be something to do with a 9 and a 10. And which way round do the minuses have to go? It's going to have to be plus 9 and minus 10 to add to give you a minus 1. So then we can fill in our double brackets for this quadratic. We've got n plus 9 brackets n minus 10 equals 0. And if you think about solving quadratics, we need to make each of those brackets individually equal to 0. So if n plus 9 equals 0, that would mean n equals minus 9. We take the opposite sign. And if n minus 10 equals 0, that means n equals 10. Like most quadratics, we've got two answers here for our solution. However, one of them cannot be right in this question. And this is really getting to that higher level kind of thinking at GCSE. Finding the value of n, we need to think about what that actually means. n was the number of sweets in a bag. So quite clearly, once you've remembered that, n equals minus 9 is not possible. You cannot have minus 9 sweets in a bag. So we can actually cross this solution out and only accept our positive solution, positive integer solution, n equals 10.